Hey guys, welcome back. It's Shelby and today you are going to be doing a little home project with me. This is something that I've been meaning to do for a few weeks and I haven't done, but I thought it would be fun to share. So I went to Ikea a little bit ago and I got these little jars and they are perfect tea jars. They're fantastic. They're a great size. Um, they've got like rounded edges. These are flat so they can stack against each other and it's got a little cut edge here so they could sit like this. Or like this which I think is quite clever and then they just open up nicely and they have a little seal inside super affordable you get four for like four dollars or something like that very very cheap so I got them for my tea canisters and I meant to make this video right away and I didn't do it so I'm currently housing my tea in them with lovely little masking tape signs and I don't want to do that I want them to be cute so that's what we're doing today see what I mean they just stack together like in a really nice way so we are going to be using uh, my Cricut, which is a recent acquisition, and I love it, but I've barely used it. So we're going to be using that to make little labels for these. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we can see how much nicer a well-labeled jar can look rather than just a jar with stuff in it, or worse, a jar with stuff in it and a masking tape label. It's just bad. So we're going to make actual labels for these and make these look super glam and professional, and let's get going. So I am going to be setting up a new template just in the Cricut app. If you need some more information on how to do this, go ahead and hit me up in the comments, but otherwise just kind of download it to your computer and it's actually pretty self-explanatory. I definitely need to give them props for that because it is very user-friendly. Mainly, I'm just going to be using a font I like and making some labels for my tea canisters. What I like about the grid line is that it's kind of like well you know, mapped out and spaced out so I can just make them like the right size and we're good to go. I have herbal tea, black tea, green tea, and other because like sometimes I mix them. Whatever, don't judge me. So basically we're just going to do that, pick our grid. I am using actual official Cricut materials, which I think makes it easier. I don't know. I know they sell a mat, but I've never tried it for non-Cricut branded materials. I'm using the permanent vinyl. I'm just going to cut myself off a little measurement here, stick it in the machine, and it's going to print us out our fabulous little tea labels. And here we go. Okay, so I have my printouts of the labels for the jars just up at the top here. And I'm wondering if I made them a little big. I think, I think they'll fit. I think they will just barely fit, um, but I'm going to change the camera angle and we're going to be using the transfer tape vinyl thing to get these off and apply them to here and make our jars. So I have the printouts from the Cricut machine and I just removed all the backing around it. So I'm just left with the letters on the little backing. So basically it just comes as a sheet. It cuts out the letters and you can remove either the letters or the backing. So that's all I did. I'm cutting out the transfer sheet. That's what's got the grid on there. It's basically like a lightweight sticker. I think of it as clear masking tape. Peeling it off the back, putting it on top of my letters. This will theoretically keep them in order. And wouldn't you know it, I actually own a weeding kit and I lost it. So I'm going to be using like a little spludger tool and pulling the letters out and trying to keep them in order and then just adjusting them on the transfer tape, making sure they're in line as much as possible. And once they are perfectly in line, how I like them on the transfer tape, then I'm going to put them right onto my jar. And the best part about the transfer tape is, you know, barring not having the proper equipment, which even if I have it, I tend to lose. Once it's on there, it kind of keeps it in place. You're not putting on each letter individually. You just stick it on as a whole thing and it peels right off nice and easy. And you're left with a beautiful level label on your jar or craft or whatever you're using. So I do definitely suggest the transfer tape. It's super nice and nifty. There we go. Look at that. It worked beautifully. So we're just going to do the other one. I'm making four jars in total and let's see how they turned out. There we go. So you can see the zoom in. This one is empty because I don't currently have any black tea on hand, but this one is the mix of chamomile and green. We've got the green tea. We've got the herbal tea. These jars make the tea so pretty and I love the professional labels on them because that masking tape had to go. Like I said, these jars are great. They just kind of go together very nicely. Also, instead of like housing them like this, if you don't want, you just put them like that. They've got that nice flat edge. So this is great. You can still read it. I keep mine like high on a shelf actually. So they are tipped down like this and I still want to be able to read it. So I think these turned out great. I'm super excited and happy for them. They just look very professional and a lot cleaner than they did. So thanks so much for joining me on this one, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.